Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here and welcome back for some more Path of Exile in the Delirium League. So I'm playing some more characters and this is actually the first one where I say, you know what, this one has potential, I think this one is gonna stick. It's a, a minion character again, but uh, the biggest problem that I have with uh, my witch is that she's always uh, too weak to um, to basically survive well when it comes to uh, to damage so uh, I decided to try a Templar and uh, he's got a little bit of like block bonuses and things like that and give him the minion treatment now uh, it's a little bit different I went with um, and I need to get over here I believe yep over here let's go to the quarry um, I, uh, I don't have skeletons and things like that. I basically went with as many uh, permanent and uh, Templar, uh, Templar inspired minions. So I also am using the Holy Relic. Then I'm also using, of course, the, um, the Animate Guardian, which still needs uh, uh, the right uh, gear because he can actually buff my whole army. And I, of course, have also gotten that uh, Golem, Karen Golem. And then we get some zombies. Uh, three specters at the moment I'm using those that generate uh, some um, some extra charges for my army and then once we get a couple of uh, things down we'll uh, we'll summon our zombies so let's go with these I think I can do six at this point maybe it's seven let's try oh it's actually seven okay and uh, so this is is basically the permanent army that I'm running with. You can already tell that they're pretty strong. And then what I'm using is a Hel Herald of Purity. And for my attack, Dominating Blow, which if I can get enough attacks going, uh, grants me like, a, a very big army uh, that looks like it fits with the Templar. So let's try and get a couple of those going. And well, we get we get lots of like block bonuses uh, decent resistance as well I'm actually surprised uh, that's a very big advantage of the necromancer you basically need to invest next to nothing for resistance in your gear this one well I've got some resistance in there but it's actually doing uh, quite okay as you can see right here and so this is I also made all of them aggressive so they do tend to clear everything out quite effectively and uh, well there we go stuff is uh, dying and uh, also of course uh, what I did do let's see if I can first grab that map uh, is to uh, to play with fortify uh, which is both on my hits and on uh, my jumps so I only have one piece of gear for that herald of purity leap slam dominating blow with fortify support basically try to get all those minions give them their own buffs and uh, and, and then try to really uh, keep um, keep safe, get enough resistance, enough block chance, all of that stuff uh, to keep going. And then once we get going, I mean, these guys do shred through stuff, especially when I've got some of these heralds and things like that up and running. Uh, it becomes a lot of damage. And against bosses, well, I have to take more risk. Maybe we'll see that in a moment if I can. Oh, I'm actually going to activate the delirium stuff as well uh, when we get the boss there. I need to take more risks because of course in order to do my hits I have to be uh, close by uh, but I feel like my survivability is strong enough uh, that uh, that it's not a problem and I love when you get those rare uh, guys as well they're pretty damn strong massively buffed so that's all working pretty well and I basically just jump around try to get a couple of hits in before my enemy just wrecks everything <laughs> my army just wrecks everything so that I get those extra little uh, minions on the field and um, it's a bit more interactive than the witch uh, for sure because you do try to uh, get those hits going I still I think uh, uh, right now what I made is um, a white sword that had a decent attack speed and I gave that um, like a plus minion stuff so Let's see here. Can I get to it? Um, so here I just use an Agony Skewer. I, I want a sword in order to be able to use Leap Slam. And I, I basically made so that minions deal 41% increased damage. I think there's going to be like a right weapon for this. Uh, that, that maybe has attack speed increase or, or double hits or something like that. That's going to allow me to get far more minions up on the board more quickly. Uh, but for now this is working okay in my book. 
So let's keep going. I'll take this as well. Another rare up here. Can smack that about a little bit, but yeah. They don't last very long. Uh, and then with all these Templar bonuses, you sometimes get stuff like Onslaught. Uh, so here is a boss. So what I try to do now is get a couple hits in. And then when he really turns towards me, I try to leap around him. So that I can basically try and avoid that. Now my army needs to do its own thing, I guess. Let's go. Let's try and avoid the damage a little bit. Especially for that stuff. And he's down. Just need to wait for that lightning stuff to stop. And you can see right here that this, uh, this worked out pretty damn well. Let's go back, sell this stuff and see if we can't um, handle the next bit as well. Which I think is the end of this act. So we've got this. Um... Basically, I get room for one more prophecy. I try to run these as much as possible. It's just extra XP. I'm just gonna sell everything without looking at it right now. Okay, put stuff in my stash. A little bit of currency. <clears throat> and a map. And here we go. Meet scene at the quarry. Then the level will go up a little bit. Now, I'm a little bit overpowered right now, right? Level 69. Um, did just a little bit of delving. Not much, and uh, this is the result, so basically this is working out quite nicely. I do, of course, uh, use some of the gear that, that my other guys have, so I've got the six link here, I've got these um, these unique flasks, uh, found a skull head, found a Matua Tupuna, which, which helps, I think, with my minions, um, plus one, plus two level uh, of socketed minion gems, so my Karen Golem. Uh, is actually hitting above his weight a little bit as well. And I I grabbed these. Definitely going to probably do something else with it. Uh, but um, yeah, there's a lot of lightning damage uh, with this one. And then one red as well. Some fire damage with some uh, proliferation type stuff. With Well, it's, it's not uh, proliferation, but it's like uh, ignites and things like that that they can do as well. In this case, it's shock, so increasing damage taken sounds fine to me. Um, I don't feel afraid at all to go after the um, the, delir the delirium stuff. Uh, my army <coughs> is super aggressive, and uh, I, I tend to be able to leap out of damage uh, or, or really threatening damage before any real trouble. Uh, I did die a couple of times, basically. Um, I haven't been focusing enough on my defenses, but that is starting to feel better at this point. So we can just keep going. Let's see what we can spot here. A couple of blues. A little bit of damage. Just get out of the way and let my army deal with them. That's all fine. <laughs> Don't even need to hit these guys. Those are a little dangerous, especially when they're yellow. Right now, that's not a problem. I'm gonna... Get these guys up and running as well. And there we get a little bit of range damage. So we're going to try and speed up. Get out of that AoE. Oh, going pretty... Ooh, ooh, lots of damage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does happen. But yeah, with Leap Slam, I basically feel like I can get out of trouble uh, pretty easily. I'll take that plate. The jewel I got whole stash of them already so we're not gonna keep grabbing those and I'm again in the wrong direction okay so we can still go over there this guy is making the rest immune I guess and there we go it really felt like you know a couple of occasions where of course I have to keep paying attention but the delirium mechanic is very doable. It's probably been uh, nerfed a little bit as well from what it was right at the beginning. And that means that I, I'm pretty confident once we're out of it that uh, we'll wreck most stuff. Now here we get a couple of uh, rares if I'm not m mistaken. That could be a little bit more dangerous as well. Uh, what I like to try and do then is to first take care of some of these smaller guys. Increase my army count. Whoops. Try to avoid a lot of that prop. There we go, like that. Uh, before we go after the rares. So, basically any small ads become resources for me to create more soldiers. <laughs> and when it's only small stuff, 
that's what uh, happens from time to time. Big AoE splash, everything just gone. So, I'll take that, that'll die, get that 45 buff, a couple more minions, that's fine. Even rares that don't have enough defenses, they get wrecked quite heavily. Love how aggressive they are, and uh, once we get to the next level, like this... Uh, maybe I'll show you guys uh, what I've been doing. Obviously, uh, as a Templar here, I went with um, Bastion of Hope. Which gives me block, gives my allies chance to block just great survivability. Then we've got what's called Radiant Crusade. Um, with the allies, you and nearby allies have Onslaught. Uh, while there are at least five nearby allies, you have Onslaught. While there is at least one nearby deal extra damage and then up here um, also intimidate and a nerf not really sure what it does but uh, sounds like it could be pretty useful and then the last one is probably gonna be this one I don't think any of these are that great uh, but perhaps I can basically give them extra charges as well and then for the tree uh, lots of minion stuff up here here I took some extra block chance uh, for for spell blocking increase my survivability Right now I'm working on the big node, then we move here, minion stuff, here minion stuff with this, and this is also an extra zombie. And now um, I have to choose, I could still go here to make my minions more tanky, or I could try to focus down here for more tankiness myself. Um, having a blast, let's go to the rotten core, and let's see if we can uh, handle that. Oh, that shouldn't be a problem. Um, Although, yeah, there is some more dangerous stuff, like here. But look at that. Look at that damage. <laughs> very, very nice. Um, and yeah, I feel like I can get some, um, some decent speed going as well. Let's get that instant flask to work. And there it is already. The black core. Uh, what are we doing? Ooh, stuff that's related to... Um, to the labyrinth i might want to try and get like at least a two or three if i can i'll take the the flask here jump behind the enemy that's just uh, an extra minion for me thank you here's another rare gonna be hitting that a little bit I'm gonna do this one as well okay go 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 another blue pack that's perfect <laughs> i do like to do this jump behind the enemy my mi my minions storm in <laughs> And then, uh, not a problem. Uh, we still have... Ah, damn it. Let's see what this is. Oh, hmm, that's interesting. Uh, damage penetrate 6, elemental resistances, trigger Edict of Frost on kill. Not sure if this is good for this character. But I'll take it. And then now we are at the Black Core, where we talk to Sin. And then we get three short maps to do and then we get the final boss of the act or do i have to still talk to sin i guess it's okay and maybe on my tree i'd, I'd like a hybrid flask because i do use mind over matter of course could be handy okay minions are doing fine get some more on the board this just Honestly, this feels um, just as good damage-wise as the Necromancer, but with added survivability. So I'm very happy that I'm giving this one a go. On top of that, I'm also using this uh, Holy Relic because I'm doing attacks myself, right, with the blow. And uh, that gives me and my minions health regen. Very handy stuff. Uh, I just need to find a better way to basically uh, apply those attacks, do that faster, maybe multiple targets, something like that, uh, so that I can get my army to grow more quickly. There's Duedra. Uh, I'm gonna run around just a little bit because he does have some. Oh, and we should. Should I have been behind that? Right, we're gonna. Well, my minions are, <laughs> are taking care of business. And uh, he is down that was super fast let's maybe talk to scene first 
Maligaro and Chevron are left. And yeah, I do feel like... Okay, let's uh, take care of this rare here. Another one down there. Love these aggressive minions that just find their own targets. And just, you know, I don't even really have to do attacks if I don't want to. Although I love to just increase my army, which increases my um, my efficiency, of course. So if I can, I try to get a couple leaks in. So we get a couple of my light dudes to help out. But honestly, this persistent army is already very cool. Like that. There it is already. Ah oh man, this is really going fast. You're down. Get a couple hits in. And then when he starts to do stuff, try to leap out. Anticipating those attacks. Yeah, lots of purple stuff. Ah, a couple of his clones. There we go. That was <laughs> like... Super easy. What's the level at? 64. And now again, I can just look for a, a decent spot. And then my army back here <laughs> just wrecks. <laughs> so good. This feels like... Uh, I'm not sure when the league ends and the next one uh, stops. But this feels like this might just be my go-to uh, for a starter character next time. I really also felt that while leveling, I had, well, not the best speed, but it was definitely manageable, but especially at good survivability uh, throughout all of it. And look at them surging forward, attacking everything in sight. There we go, down, we have got Chevron left, likes to AoE with lightning as well, so here I am going to jump around a bit more Let's see if there's any more hits that I can do yep look at that super fast you should have everything you need now sin and then the depraved trinity to end the act so I'm gonna try and especially if I feel like I can't move I'm gonna there we go he turns around again so we're gonna go like that Avoid this stuff. These guys should be fine. Okay. And then, of course, the more hits I do, the more my uh, my little holy relic gives us regen. Okay, now I've got to be a little careful because stuff will get a bit more hairy here. Or not, we are already done. I am no beast of burden. And I am full of stuff. Anyways, there you go, guys. Uh, I'm going to play a little bit more Path of Exile with the Delirium League. This is the character that I'm building next, and I'm definitely having a ton of fun. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, I'll see you next time.